Pembroke Pines Charter School open enrollment begins January 10th, 2017, and it runs through March 10th, 2017. During this time, on our website, pinescharterapply.net, our parents can apply for our elementary schools, middle school, and high schools. It is a lottery process, so each application uh, will be entered into a lottery during that after open enrollment closes, which is March 10, 2017. We would like to encourage all of our new residents uh, within Pembroke Pines to apply for our charter schools. Um, these are uh, top ranking charter schools in the, uh, Broward County, uh, so we always recommend and encourage all of our uh, residents to go ahead and apply. The open enrollment period is a requirement for all of our currently enrolled charter school students uh, to re-enroll for the upcoming year. It also is a requirement for our currently waitlisted students to resubmit their lottery application. The reason is to maintain the seniority of last year's application now coming into this year. Not resubmitting your lottery application can jeopardize your seniority and your essentially position in the upcoming lottery for that year. So it is very imperative that our currently waitlisted students resubmit their application year over year to maintain that seniority. That's something that carries with you year over year. Within our lottery process, we do give certain preferences to our Pembroke Pines residents, as well as our military, families who have siblings within our charter school, as well as our staff. The lottery process still is completely at random, um, even though there are specific preferences for those that I mentioned, um, it's still completely at random uh, because we do want to give every student who applies an equal and fair chance. The website for our Pines Charter schools is pinescharterapply.net. Within that web page, there on the right hand side, there is a login portion. If you do not have a login for the site, um, it's very easy to create a uh, account. It would be just the email address that you want to be contacted as the primary mode of communication from the lottery, as well as the password of your choosing. Uh, once the application is created, you'll be able to, if it's your first time, provide the student's information, first name, last name, date of birth, preference of uh, campuses as well as grade for the upcoming year. For additional information you may go on our website. On the right hand portion there is a FAQ and or contact us link where you can see all the registrar information as well as all the school information. If there's something specific to a campus that you want to see there's additional programming and or camps or functions there is uh, contact phone numbers for each of the school registrars as well as a phone number for each of the school campuses where you may contact for additional information that may not be on the site. Our open enrollment period ends March 10th, 2017. Once the open enrollment period ends, additional notification will be sent out to our parents uh, one week before the lottery will run. So parents will be up to date as far as when the lottery runs and can anticipate uh, receiving those notification emails of when the lottery is ran.